What's going on guys, Ryan with Jelly Patrol back with another video. Today we're going to be unboxing IG-11 by Hot Toys. Super excited about this one, so let's open it up. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today. IG-11. And the question I want to kind of answer by the end of today's video is, is this a figure you need to have? Like for your Mandalorian display, do you need this figure? Because honestly, uh, I'm looking at like my display. I've got the original Beskar, the Durasteel Mando. I've got the Beskar Mando, the Child and the Deluxe, which is shipping by Sideshow, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got the Heavy Infantry Mando. I've got that one. We've got the Remnant Troopers. We've got Death Troopers. We've got the Incinerator Trooper. Like, what other do we need this figure? And that's kind of what I want to determine today. And uh, maybe help you guys out if you're on the fence with buying this figure. It's not an inexpensive figure for what it is. You don't get a whole lot of accessories. Um, but that, that's kind of what I want to dive into today is, you know, we're going to unbox this, talk about this thing, figure out, you know, do you need this? They've got a whole pile of more figures coming out. We've got... Bo-Katan, finally, at some point, we're going to actually see the reveal for that. Super excited about that one. We've got Moff Gideon. I mean, just, you know, we got a, another, uh, uh, the sport uh, scout trooper with the speed bike. Uh, that, you know, we got to have that one. So uh, I kind of want to figure out if this is something we need. I also do have the Sideshow Collectibles speeder bike from Return of the Jedi. And I want to see if this guy will sit on it. I don't know how dangerous that's going to be because the Sideshow one is super super uh fragile but uh, let's go ahead and get in this guys if you haven't seen this already this is ig11 straight from hong kong shout out to pop collectibles for getting this to me super fast if you guys want to check out day one releases you can check them out put a link in the description below i also got the recently the upgraded suit spider-man which whoo man that thing is flipping amazing go check out that video right here and uh you know go from there but let's let's take a look at ig11 first so here we go here's the box guys we've got ig11 here we've got our normal band which we've are seeing with a lot of star wars figures uh these days uh orange being the mandalorian you know deal um but we do have a picture of the figure right here which is pretty nice and uh we got a picture on the side and then we've got a picture on the back these are all your little whodunits and all that kind of fun stuff so there we go so let's open this guy up let's see what he comes with and uh yeah all right we got some inserts i dig this that's a great photo of the actual figure by the way what a fantastic photo this guy does have light up function which we'll have to uh, take a look at uh later on but uh i i, I like that that's kind of cool and then we have we have the figure itself so let's get him out of this little clamshell guy always fight with these boxes so i'm just gonna get that guy out of the way got some instructions and uh let's see what's going on let me know in the comment section if you have already ordered this guy pre-ordered this guy um i have taken some of the plastic off of this uh, but this is what it's going to look like straight out of the packaging so yeah we've got a little bandolier action going on that's pretty nice dig that kind of an interesting packaging though like it's um it's almost like a piece of cardboard and then it's i don't know interesting packaging going on there we've got a switch out part which appears to be the detonator uh, and i'm pretty sure this lights up so we'll definitely be looking into that obviously we've got our batteries we've got those guys we've got a couple of weapons uh we've seen this guy before a lot of times we have not seen this one so pretty excited about that one we'll take a look at that let's get in this figure and uh i have taken the plastic off of him and uh i was actually live on instagram and uh took the plastic stuff off of this guy for just a quick instagram live feed um but let's see here we got we got a base and that was a squeaky sound and we've got a waist grabber and we've got some instructions and we'll deal with that later okay so let's let me put you over here for a second we, i gotta get i gotta i gotta get this plastic I, should, do we even bother with this I don't even want to bother with this thing. This is ridiculous. Hot Toys, what the hell? I mean, seriously, what the hell? For the price point we're getting this. You're giving me this garbage. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? This is ridiculous. That they would give us a freaking stand with human feet. I mean, look at this. Like, what, what the hell? What are, you, what are you doing, man? That's ridiculous. All right, that's a fail. That's just stupid. Oh, oh. 
Ugh, I swear. Hot toys. Just, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. This is stupid. Somebody in the R&D department had to go, hey, you know, the feet, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, you guys make amazing figures. You make, I mean, that Spider-Man figure, flipping amazing. The This figure looks pretty good. The, uh, the... That's stupid. All right, so let's take a look at some of these accessories. First off, we're gonna have this blaster that he comes with. This thing is pretty cool. I kind of dig this. It's a different, I mean, I don't, I, don't think we've seen this one before. I don't recall it in any of my other figures. So I want to say this specific to IG-11, uh, but pretty nice piece. It's not overly you know, like detailed paint wise. Um, it's, it's a nice mold, but it's not like crazy paint. Like there should be like some bluing going on over here. That would've been kind of nice, uh, but you know, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, here is another blaster we've seen a thousand times. It's pretty much the same. The paint apps look the same. There's some weathering going on with it. And uh, there's our blaster. So, yeah, we've seen that a bunch of times. All right, which is not a whole lot of accessories. Like, this is, this is what we got. We got a bandolier. I guess we can take it off this little cardboard thing. Oh, yeah, we got Velcro. We got Velcro going on here. Let's see if we can do this. I think we got to display it with this, right? Like, that's his thing. So, all right, the accessories, not a whole lot going on, but uh, we might give it a pass. This is why I ask, you know, do you need this figure? I don't know if everybody does. I don't, I don't even know if I do, but you know, I'm hoarding hot toys right now. Um, there's that. We got a detonator piece, which we'll switch out in a little bit. We got some batteries. So let's take a look at this guy, because this is what we're here to, to really chat about. This is pretty damn cool. I mean, I gotta, I, I gotta tell you, man, this is the paint apps and the colors and everything going on here, like the coppers and the bronzes and the, the silvers and the grays and everything. This is pretty freaking cool. I, I, I gotta, you know, look at this. Look at that, man, that is freaking detailed. That is cool, I dig this. Look at that head sculpt. That's cool. All right, so I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, yeah, that spins around so he can do his little you know, robot spinny, I'm gonna kill everybody thing. But check out the paint apps, that's pretty cool. I like, th I mean, the detail is, I mean, it's there. Uh, there are some die cast pieces for those who are wondering about that. Uh, these thighs are, uh, that's die cast to the touch as well. And uh, as well as this lower part, I'm trying to figure out if this inner part here is die cast, but I can't really get my finger in there to test it out. Um, but there is some die cast in there. And I know there's a lot of people for whatever reason were like really shocked by that. Was I the only one not shocked that there was die cast on this figure? Like I 100% expected it. Like it was not even a question. Uh, I would have been severely disappointed if there wasn't die cast. When you look at K2SO, like the lower, we, we've already seen this. We already seen this. So I don't know. I was 100% expecting it, but it, it does look good, right? I think so. So the, uh, let's look at the back of this thing. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of different molds and stuff going on in the back. Digging it, I, dug, I I like this quite a bit actually. There's a lot of design, a lot of detail going on with this figure that we don't see with like your normal Stormtrooper, you know, that they've had the mold for a thousand times. Um, but this is something completely new and it is interesting. Now, I guess the real, you know, what again, what I'm trying to determine is do you, do you need this? And, um, you know, we'll really have to see when we put it up with the uh, Durasteel Mando and pose it up with the child and that kind of stuff. I guess we're really trying to determine that. But we do have this little uh, feature here, which is sw switch around. We got, let's see here. Oh yeah, that goes up. If they flip this thing upside down, you can actually see this joint. Uh, but there you are. Here's your joint right there, a little pivot joint. And uh, let's see here. Ooh. What else? We got some double, oh, we got a little double bend. Uh, maybe not a double, is that a double? Yeah, I don't know. It's a little past 90. It's a little past 90 with this gasket. I can see this gasket worrying some people. It doesn't worry me. Uh, if you're in a climate uh, where this would be a problem like dry rotting, then that might be a potential thing. But these figures aren't really designed to last forever. So, uh, but that could be a thing. I think it's a good design choice. Kind of dig that. The hands, let's see what we got here. 
Kimmel, you know, what are you going to do for me? You're going to move? That's kind of stiff. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. He's got four fingers. That's that's actually kind of that's kind of tight. I'm okay with that because he needs to be able to hold his blaster. If that was super loose, that would be a problem. Uh, individual four fingers. You can uh, you see the little joints. There's a joint here, joint here, joint here. Uh, so you can individually do those. That's nice. I'm curious to see how well it will actually hold the blaster. But as far as the stiffness goes, I think that's fine. Uh, I'm really digging like all the little wires and stuff going on in the middle of this guy. And I like the parts that connect. I think those are super cool. Dig those. All right, what do we got here on rotate any? All right, so as we expect, he does not have a neck. There is no rotation there on the neck. And I'm pretty sure this is the piece that pops out. It is magnetic. There you go. And we can put in our thermal detonator, which is a light up function. So we'll have to put some batteries in there and we'll have to put some batteries in the head, which if I pull that off, it's just one little magnet and we can get some uh, batteries in there. So that should be pretty uh, easy to deal with. If I put this back on, that would be even better. Um, where is, oh, there you are. Okay. Is that gonna go on easy? Yeah, yeah, that went on pretty easy. Not bad, rotation wise. Okay, we're gonna get pretty much uh what are we what are we hitting back here any we hitting anything i'm hearing plastic pieces so what am i hearing no he can pretty much move i don't know if you guys hear that I'm trying to pick that up hearing plastic pieces i don't know what is hitting like i'm looking at it and i don't see it should be hitting anything other than something internally that's kind of weird all right Let's see, anything up here at the top? Nope, nope, okay. So pretty much just, just right there. I don't think there's anything. Is there anything going on here? No, I think that's it. Interesting, interesting. It reminds me of uh, Darth Maul with all these hoses and stuff going down the legs, the Solo Maul version. If you guys got that figure, you know what I'm talking about. These are sturdy. I don't, I don't think we're having any issues with these. I really don't. Uh, Knee-wise. You're gonna get about there. Can we get a little more? Nope, that's about where we're gonna get for the knee. So that's all right. And then legs, oh yeah. No issues there whatsoever on that. It's just a ball joint. Yeah, no issues whatsoever. Plenty of movement. I mean, plenty of movement for a figure like this. It's got a good amount of range of motion. Uh, let's check out these, let's check out these feet. So here's your feet. Let's see what they got going on. It looks like we've got a little hinge going on right here. We can go front and back. I mean, that's pretty good. Not bad at that. Side to side. It looks like there's a joint like right there. Yeah, there we go. Like that's pretty, that's pretty good. I think we're gonna have no problem with stability. If you look how large his feet is, uh, our feet are, sorry. Um, yeah, they're, they're fairly large. I don't think we're gonna have any issues with this. Okay, so here's the thing. Having messed with this with you guys right here, um, it's, it's definitely got, it's got his merits. It's got his merits, just kind of, you know, first impressions here. Uh, the die cast pieces, again, 100% expected that to happen. I don't think he's gonna have any issues standing up. I don't think that's gonna be a thing. Uh, he's definitely a tall figure. We'll break him out. Obviously, we're gonna do some posing. We'll do some comparisons with Durastil Mando and that kind of stuff. Uh, definitely a tall figure. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get him on my speeder bike. That's going to be a challenge. Like that might be like the very last pose we do because honestly, if I can get him on there with the child, I, I, I might just leave it there. Um, but it's, it's, it's definitely got, uh, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It feels like a regular six scale figure. I don't think it's not overly, it's not an Iron Man or a war machine. It's not that, uh, but it feels like a six scale figure. I don't think I'm going to break it just manipulating parts. I don't think I'm going to break it. Uh, I don't feel like these joints are going to have any issues. Um, just feeling the rigidity of it. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to be a thing. But I guess the only way to know it is actually throw these batteries in here, check it out all the light functions, and uh, pose them up and see what we can do. So let's do that. All right, guys, we got IG-11 out of the box. We got him posed up, and I have his detonator going off, and hopefully he doesn't explode before the end of this video. Uh, the lighting actually is, is pretty nice, and I 100% expect the lights to die either during this one section or just overall in the video. The lights uh, on the head sculpt are, they're, they're okay. 
Uh, I mean, they're not they're not terrible. I guess if I kill this light, you can uh, probably see them a little better. Uh, but there you go. There, that's you know, they're not super bright. They're okay. But the light on the detonator is way better. And uh, that flashing light. But again, we all know the batteries are going to die, and it's going to be useless because. You know, it's just the way hot toys are. Uh, but I do want to talk about a couple of issues with this, guys. And there's your detonator one more time. There you go, guys. You can see it in all its detonator glory. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, well, let's go ahead and turn that light back on. That's actually what it looks like, um, you know, with the lights on. So there are some issues with this figure that we're going to talk about. But there are some really good things going on with it as well. Number one's got to be the paint apps. The paint apps are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What you would expect from a Hot Toy figure. I mean, if you look at this. You got that rose gold, you got the copper, you got bronze, you got silver, you got metallic, you got wash, you got weathering. I mean, this is, is fantastic as far as the paint apps go. The mold is beautiful. The detail, the gaskets, I mean, just all of it is really, really good looking. I mean, it really is. Uh, as he swings around, I kind of want to take a look at this midsection. I mean, look at all the detail and the molds and uh, the greebles, if you will, for the Star Wars deal. Um, he just absolutely nailed it. And then you go down, you get that Darth Maul style hoses and uh, from Solo Mauls I talked about earlier. And then you've got these ginormous feet, which are gonna have no problem whatsoever actually getting the balance because they, ro they rotate in so many different ways. You've got the front to backs, uh, left to right, pivot. I mean, they just go wherever you want them to go. So posing's really not gonna be a problem. So, uh, you know, what, what problems are you going to have? All right, so the first problem I want to talk about are these hands. I am I just wait for people to get this in hand and to blow up the forums and blow up Facebook and to blow up all the pages going, I broke a hand. These fingers, on at least on mine, the joints were stiff and I had to be very, very careful to not break it. Uh, break it. You see all those little... Um, hinges they've got going on those little joints and knuckles if you will uh every one of those bend and there's four separate fingers on each hand and they're tight and to get those blasters in there while it will hold it very well i don't think there's any issues with that um you i've already tell you somebody's gonna bend one and they're gonna break so they only go in one direction they do not pivot left to right they go up down that's it Please be careful of that because somebody, this, somebody's going to break it. This is what it is. Um, so there's that. All right. So the second issue I had was actually with this particular elbow joint, that gasket, when I bent that uh, arm in that 90 degree turn, uh, the gasket actually slid up. And so I had to pull the gasket back down so it would cover up that joint. I don't know if it's a terrible issue. I just think it's somebody, you, you want to be mindful of it. Uh, and, um, you know, as far as posing wise, you don't, you don't really don't want to, you know joint showing when there should be covered up by a gasket so those are just a couple issues um the articulation on it, range of motion the shoulders are amazing i don't think there's any issues at i think the paint apps are great i think the hands are going to be where you want to be careful don't break one because it's going to be really easy to do um and i just think it's uh, it's a cool piece so i've got him here we've got a little simple pose you guys have kind of seen the details as he's kind of floating around and um again the question is do you have to have it? Do you need it for your Mandalorian collection? So I guess the only way to really figure that out is to pose him with another Mandalorian. So let's do it. Boom, just like that we have, well, we've got <laughs> we've got one droid ready to self-explode, self-destruct because I left the uh, detonator on. Uh, with his arms super wide out, taking up a ton of real estate. And then we have our Durastil Mando behind him. And I, I do need to change the pose on the Mando, but you know you get the point this is uh these two guys uh, sitting together not not terrible and i do that reminds me i need to take the fat suit off my mando i still haven't done that uh, but these two together you can see the height difference it's a good inch inch and a half taller um from uh ig11 to uh, mando i think that's pretty scale accurate i think that looks pretty good the joints holding the arms way out like that 90 degree i mean literally no issue whatsoever with that uh, it just looks, it looks pretty freaking awesome. I got to be honest with you guys. Um, but you know, the question I, I posed earlier was, you know, do you, do you need to have this in your collection? And I don't know if this helps, uh, make that decision, 
Uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. Do you want both of these figures in your collection? I know a lot of people got the OG Mando. A lot of people got the Beskar Mando. And uh, obviously, IG you know, interacted with, with both of those guys. I prefer still, there are still Mando. Still my, still my favorite of um, the Mandos. So these two together look pretty. They look good. You know, they look good. That probably should throw in some remnant troopers or something for them to fight. But just like this, that's a pretty cool display. That's a pretty cool freaking display uh, as we look at that, uh, that detonator one more time as it kind of rotates around. Dude, come on. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I've made my decision yet on whether or not this is a must have. You know, there's some other figures coming out. Bo-Katan. That one's certainly going to be higher on the list for me than IG-11. That might be for from Clone Wars references or whatnot. But, um, yeah, I just, uh, I'm not sure yet. So let's go do another pose. All right, guys, so we had to do it. I had to have IG-11 tearing up a Scout Trooper, which is definitely not a Scout Trooper from the Mando because it's not released yet. But pretty cool nonetheless, I think. Uh, so I was very careful with... Uh, the hands taking that blaster out of there, as I talked about earlier, those fingers being, you know, super delicate. Uh, but they are wide enough to where you can pretty much get them around uh, the, the trooper's neck. No issues whatsoever there. And I think it looks pretty cool. You might want to display yours like this. I don't know. I did borrow the uh, Deluxe Mando's flight stand for this. But, um, yeah, you can see how he's towering <laughs> over all these figures. It is pretty freaking cool. So, I mean, you know, it, it looks pretty good. I think the ultimate test, I guess, is can can we get him on the speeder bike? I don't, I don't know if we can, but it could be interesting. I'll tell you, just one second. Let me try something. Just for fun, I'm going to throw in this six gill uh, Grogu That's it for scale purposes. To, just to give you guys an idea how tall this guy actually is. Like, he's he's towering over Grogu. So, he, he is humongous. Now, of course, Grogu is pretty small. Um, but there he is right there. So, well, I don't have a satchel to put him in. So, that should be kind of fun to figure that part out. But, um, yeah, I like this one. I hope you guys like this pose. Probably rambling on for this particular section. But I'm having fun with this thing. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Again, are there some other pieces you might want to pick up instead? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I mean, I don't, he's as cool as he is. Uh, Ahsoka would be way cooler as far as on the display. Uh, obviously, if you don't have a Mando, you should get a Mando. Heavy Mando, by far, would highly recommend getting Heavy Mando over IG-11. Like, that wouldn't even be a contest for me. Heavy Mando is such... I mean, it, it might be the figure of the year when it comes down to it at the end of the year. ig is cool. But Heavy Mando is it's just better, in my opinion. So uh, let's do another pose. All right, so the question of can he fit on the speeder bike from Sacho has been answered. And the answer is, well, yeah, kind of. He can kind of fit on there. So <laughs> I think this is pretty awesome. Um, now, I will go on record and say this. The Sacho speeder bike is fragile as hell. Just be careful because you're going to break it uh, 100%. But... But it does kind of fit. Now, I cheated a little bit if you guys were wondering how the heck I did this. All right, so the feet won't actually fit into the stirrup. It won't fit. So I cheated there, you know, sue me, whatever, uh, because he actually doesn't have his hips. That's about as far as forward as his hips will go. Uh, there's an IG-11 butt, by the way. And then, uh, of course, the stirrups on the actual speeder bike don't move. They don't rotate. If they did, it would actually they would actually kind of work. But since he doesn't, uh, there you go. But there is IG-11 with his child on the back. And for good measure, I actually posed this while I was live on Instagram. And we kind of just messed around for a little bit. And the consensus was behind the back shooting is awesome and badass. Therefore, IG-11 would totally do that and did do that in the show. And uh, there we go. So I have IG-11 with his right arm forward on the controls and his left arm literally behind his back. That is the range of motion on this guy. It is crazy, crazy cool. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. Now I must caution you guys, just like I said earlier, you gotta be careful where you're bending. So one of the issues people are gonna have and they're gonna break this thing, 
just warning you guys now, is because these gaskets, which cover up the joints, uh, are, are amazing. There it is. You see where it's kind of come undone right there. Um, you could absolutely forget which way that joint is supposed to bend and bend it the wrong way and break your figure. So therefore, I would recommend moving that gasket down, making sure it's going to bend in the direction you want it to bend, and then rotate that joint. Uh, otherwise, if you just pick it up and say, oh, it bends this way and it doesn't crack, done, there's 300 bucks, goodbye, and you're pissed off at the world. Don't do that um, because it, I'm, I'm warning you, just, just don't do that. But look at this guy. Dude, come on. I mean, that's freaking epic right there. Absolutely awesome. So, okay, so here's, here's the, uh, the final analysis on this guy. Articulation, ridiculous. Paint apps, ridiculous. Amazing. Uh, light feature, eh, it's cool. It's whatever. I don't even care about light features, but it looks okay. Price-wise, it's good. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's terrible for what it is, um, but are there any other figures you should have over this? Yes, Heavy Mando. If you're in the Mandalorian line, Heavy Mando comes before IG-11. Now, I do think, I do think at some point this guy will sell out and at some point the price will go up inevitably as every Mandalorian figure has, uh, has done so far. Except for the Incinerate Trooper, not a whole lot of love for that one. Uh, the Remnant Trooper's going up, the obviously OG Mando and all, whatnot's going up. Death Troopers are gonna, once they sell out, they're gonna do their thing. Um, this is that one-off thing that we're not going to get ever again. We're not ever going to get a heavy Mandrew again, I don't think. I certainly don't see us getting another IG unit. And it's it's pretty damn good. It really is. Uh, so if it's in your budget and it makes sense for your collection, I'd pick it up. I'd be super careful with it. If you are um, a newer collector, smaller collector, the smaller budget, whatever you want to call it, whatever that is. If you if you have more limited choices and you want to have, um, you know, characters that you really are must haves, this is not it. I mean, this is this is not it. There's there's some other characters coming out that I think you're gonna like a lot more. Um, but just for purely being badass, it is. So there you go. Hope you guys like this. Let me know your thoughts on the poses and um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this figure. Did you pre-order? Are you gonna pre-order it? If you want one from day uh, day one release, uh, check out Pop Collectibles down below. If you want to wait on Sideshow, that's cool too. Um, but it's um, it's a it's a cool piece. It really is. Hope you guys like this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I know about 50% of you are not subscribed, and you should hit the button because it's awesome. And if you haven't joined the Facebook group, you might want to do that too. It's amazing. Links down below. As always, collect what you like. Stuff that's just ridiculous like this. See you next time.